How Will I Love Tomorrow, what I can't even smell today, is the third studio album by the uh, crossover trash band slash punk band um, Suicidal Tendencies. Um, I've heard about this band, you know, that they're like popular in the trash scene and they're popular with punks, so they're kind of the best of both worlds, I assume. Uh, this is kind of a special request since it is requested by a music fan who mostly requests uh, Watch Mojo fits. But actually, um, this is the first time in, I believe, when we first met, which is almost a year ago now. Um, this is almost the first album in a year that Music Fan has requested, which is a shit, a shit while ago. But, but I guess that, you know, Music Fan isn't really into the album reviews, he's more of a Watch Mojo guy himself. And that's fine. Um, we have 10 tracks, I think. You know, I just thought it was special, so there we go. Um, yeah, we have 10 tracks on here. Uh, we have the first song, which is Trip at the Brain. This is the most commercial song of the record, and I believe, arguably, of all time by the band. Um, it has a pretty catchy opening riff. It stays pretty catchy throughout the whole song, uh, Trip at the Brain. It is a bit repetitive, I would say, but it is a fun song to, you know, to uh, to headbutt to. I believe that's the word you said. Uh, commercial, um, it kind of reminds me of Madhouse by um, Anthrax. It kind of reminds me of that since it is about your mental health and, you know, Trip at the Brain. It reminds me a lot of uh, the Spread the Disease record by um, Anthrax, you know, Madhouse especially. Kind of reminds me of that. Kind of is a poor man's version of that, but you know, that is still pretty good because Anthrax is a great metal band, so there we go. Then we have Hearing Voices, and this just kind of goes along with the, um, you know, mental issue. Right here, Hearing Voices, you know, kind of having an overlay of, um, of production on here. Kind of a special truck as well, it's less trashy and more punky in a way, more repetitive things that happen throughout the record. Um, it was a good song overall, I did enjoy it, but, um, well, but, but, but I did really like the, um, the kind of trippy nature that the song has, kind of, you know, hearing the voices and stuff like that. It has a pretty trippy vibe to it, but it still is a good follow up to Trip at the Brain, arguably the finest of finest suicidal tendency songs. Then we have Pledge Your Al uh, Allegiance, Allegiance, I don't know. Uh, this song is four and a half minutes long. It's uh, kind of a repeatable trip at the b brain already achieved. Kind of is repetitive. It is exactly uh, four minutes and 32 seconds long. It, it kind of is a version of that, you know, and you can, you know, I do enjoy it. It is an enjoyable song. Why change it up if the formula works right? Um, but yeah, I do want something more out of this record and Pletcher, um Elegians, I don't know, but uh, that song, you know, it works, but it is kind of filler on the record, so there we go. And then we have How Will I Left Tomorrow, which is uh, the title track of the record, and arguably the second coming of Trap Trip at the Brain. Uh, another fantastic trash song on this record, I do really uh, love the lyrics, you know, uh, just saying How Will I Left Tomorrow, if I can't even smile today. It, it is kind of a, a funny thing to think about, you know. If you're depressed as fuck and you have to, you have to uh, laugh tomorrow. But you know, you're so depressed you can't even smile. That that is kind of a fun, uh, or kind of a interesting um, concept there. I do like that. Um, you know, the title itself, "How Will I Left Tomorrow," is a good title, I think. But the smile thing at the end is a bit too long overdue. This song has a nice length to it. It's six minutes and forty-four seconds. Although it's not exactly a injustice for all or a master of purpose or something like that, you know, a, a holy war, so to say, you know, it's not an epic trash song like that, but, uh, but this is still fun. It still is a long track, so it is fun to listen to repeatedly and it is kind of proggy in a way. Very, you know, I'm using the term very lightly there since it's not, it's crossover punk. And punk is not really the most progressive genre, but it still has some proggy, proggy elements in it. It still is a long song, so that is enjoyable, I think. 
Then we have the Miracle, which has a great opening trashy riff at the beginning. I do really enjoy that at the beginning of the song. Uh, later it goes into more of a classic trash metal element right there, which I love as well. I just love that, you know, when it comes in, I love the title, the Miracle sounds great. It sounds like this is the Miracle of Records or some place, or of some sort, of some sort by Suicidal Tendencies. Uh, it's a really enjoyable song, it's the centerpiece of the record and written again by Clark and Muir, which who actually, they wrote it most of the songs here together. Um, I'm not sure what their, what, what their positions are, but I can look it up of course. Mike Murr vocals and Mike Clark guitar, so vocal guitarist songwriting duo. The classic, uh, the classic ones, there we go. Um, yeah, then we have Servant Slam, which is kind of like a, kind of an easy, this is kind of like the most punky song that Suicidal has written over the years. Um, yeah, it is just a fast, punky, fun song that just comes right in your face and just goes away again. Um, it's kind of like that, you know, you just imagine, you know, your, your classic uh, Misfits or Iggy, you know, Iggy songs, stuff like that. Just imagine those songs and then basically Suicidal does that with a metal edge to that, to it. And, I, you know, I, I enjoy some Misfits and uh, Iggy, so that's not, that's never a bad thing. Um, it does lack some origin originality, I have to say, but, you know, it is an enjoyable formula, so why change it up? Um, then we have If I Don't Wake Up, which is kind of the, um, kind of continues the the mental the mental health question or the mental health uh, concept of the record. Um, yeah, this song is kind of a sleeper, I have to say. You do really need to pay attention to this one to really enjoy it. Uh, it was enjoyable for me, but I do think that this song kind of wanders off a bit too much for me. You know, it, it, it has its trashy elements, but it does kind of go off the route a bit too much and kind of does his does his own thing a bit too much i have to say a good song but just yeah just kind of a vague middle of the road kind of song uh then we have sorry which is a pretty fun song i have to say you know because i believe that uh, the band is making fun of people that use it too much as an apology apologizing too much in general and I'm just kind of poking fun at people like that and you can definitely see that back in the lyric department. Uh, this is definitely one of the songs that uh, is kind of funny I think, but you know, it still has a serious problem, you know. It is making fun of the thing, but it's still a serious issue that is kind of what story is. Uh, you know, because they have a, a question mark and an explanation point after that, so. Obviously they're kind of joking there, but um, I still think that this makes for a fun, light-hearted song. You know, it's not the most serious thing, it's not, you know, the continuing the mental health uh, concept of the record, but, you know, you still have to have some laughs here and there on the record. Uh, then we have One Too Many Times, which is just kind of the, uh, kind of servant slam, but then battered and kind of revamped again. I do really enjoy this version of the record. Um, I did enjoy Servant Slam as well, but I think it was just a little bit too simplistic for my taste. One Too Many Times is kind of the uh, the real uh, punky tribute to, um, you know, to, to the punk scene, to the Sex Pistols, to the Ramones, I guess, you know, to bands like that. Um, and I do really enjoy this way more than I did the other one, because I think that this one represents the punk genre a bit more. Still enjoyable, still good, but, you know... Punk is, I still like it, but it's not, it's never been really my favorite uh, thing. Uh, then we have The Feelings Back, which is just kind of the closing, kind of most trashy song out of the record. You know, the band is really saying we're back and we're really making the best out of it, which uh, was really consistent. Uh, the song is, you know, like I said, really consistent. It is very trashy. It has the punk elements. Which arguably makes this the best song of the record. It was kind of a shame that it ended because I did uh, really enjoy this record right there. Um, but you know, the feelings back is kind of the uh, arguably the peak of the record, which you know makes this record go out on a high note, which is you know a good thing that you can do if you and especially if you're starting out with a song like Trip at the Bay Brain and the closing song, the feelings back can 
live up to that, then you know that is a pretty good accomplishment, I have to say there. You know, not as in popularity, but as in uh, quality boys. Uh, so yeah, uh, how would I left tomorrow when I can't even smile today? Third on by them, really enjoyable. Um, the name, you know, it is a dumb name, but you don't have to take everything serious, serious I guess, you know. The name, their name, Suicidal Tendencies, isn't the most, you know, serious name as well. So just don't take this band too seriously. Don't go too deep into them and you will enjoy their material. Um, you know, even I uh, looked into it a little bit and I still enjoyed it, so there we go. Uh, I would give this record an 8.6, very consistent, very good uh, trash, uh, trash metal album with a crossover punk feel to it. Uh, so it is enjoyable. I think only what hinders it is the seriousness of the record. You know, it is kind of ridiculous, but that is kind of the whole thing. That's kind of the whole gimmick of suicidal tendencies. So, so you know, I, I, I said it before and I will say it again. They're not really my cup of tea. They're not really my band. But they're still a good band in general. And this was a good album, I have to say. So there we go. Uh, let me know what you think about this record by the Suicidal Tendencies. They are a good band, I have to say, but they're not my trash metal bands. I love a lot of trash metal bands, and this is not one of them, but I still like them, so there we go. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, on for more videos like this one. Um, yeah, and what do you think of this record? What do you think of trash in general? It's one of my favorite genres, um, you know. Um, in my opinion, but uh, let me know yours in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. God bless, safe, take care, and peace.